right, Brendan Gaughton. What about this? Look at he's the Hulk. <laughs> this is really good, actually. The Chevengers. What a day it was for Chevrolet and what a day it was for Chase Elliott. His fourth career win and first of the season last weekend. And with his win last week, Chase continues to prove he is much more than just the son of Bill or more than just the winner of the sports popularity contest. He is making a name for himself as a winner and a championship contender. And as Adam Alexander learned firsthand, an Elliott victory always sounds a little sweeter. Here we are in the Dawsonville pool room with Chase Elliott. They started celebrating your dad's wins here in the early 1980s. And he got that big vintage win on Saturday down at Road Atlanta. And he thought they're going to sound the siren for me again. And you went and stole his thunder at Talladega, didn't you? Yeah, it was a good, good day. Eight, two races, two wins, same weekend. So that's pretty cool. So take me to the front straightaway at Talladega. A, a Georgia boy celebrating a win there and the fans enjoying every minute of it. For me, it's always felt kind of a little bit like a home race just because of how close I am to, to there. To be accepted by the people over there, I feel like it was just really cool. And, and they made me feel right at home. Never felt that one with the crowd before. Those moments go by way too fast. Your fourth win, and at four totally different types of racetrack, but is there one that, that stands out to you that, that's bigger than the rest? And your first is always going to be special. Just the mountain we had to get over to get that first win last year. That was such a big hurdle and such a big win because of the road to get there. You know, I think that will always kind of stand out to me. When you came home here to Georgia after that, yeah. all those fans were at the airport greeting you. Wasn't expecting that many people down there. There was a ton of people at the airport. and. Yeah, just excited. You know, it was obviously a lot of great support around home is always a good thing. So I'm um, just glad to have that and, and, you know, all the folks that pull for you trying to make them proud and, you know, doing a good job. We know when you and your dad win, it's all about sounding the siren. I am saying that, right? Close enough. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a super cool tradition to carry on, and, and uh, Gordon has been doing that ever since I was racing legend cars and, and stuff, which is pretty neat. So I was wondering if it was still working or not. <laughs> but uh, So you've never heard it? Well, I've, I've heard it on videos and but, stuff. But not but I've here to actually here. hear it when it's out. So that's probably not a good thing. I don't think I want to be here to hear it. It might mess something up. Like I said, just a lot of history, and I feel like obviously it was all built because of my dad and, and my uncles and my granddad, and everything in here is really because of them, uh, not because of me. I'm just lucky enough to have something like this to carry along, to still call this home. You know, I think it's special, and like I said, all built because of them. You know, he, he won 44 of them, so got a long ways to go. <laughs>